Welcome to this presentation on factoring trinomials when we have uh, when we have leading coefficients other than one and we have constants that are positives. So in the previous presentation, if you're following along in the playlist, we did trial and error. You know, it took about three days to do one problem, right? So let's look at maybe a more systematic way of, of approaching this. So we got this problem. 2x squared. So our example, 2x squared plus 11x plus 12. If you yeah, Previously, I rambled on about coming up with some factors of A, some factors of C, you know, some factors of 2, some factors, in this case, factors of 2, factors of 12, and combining them such that we get 11x. So let me kind of show you the easiest way to explain this is just to show it. We want factors of A, which in this case, what's A? So factors of 2, and we want factors of 12. Now this part is going to be kind of tricky. We want, so what we say, and we're going to say outer plus inner equals B, which in this case is 12. So let me, you're probably saying, what is, what does he mean by outer and inner? Just as, when we fill out this table, I'll explain it. You got Let's say factors of 1, you got 1 and 2, and you got 1 and 12, right? So your outer factors here is going to be 1 and 12, right? You want to multiply 1 and 12. Your inner factors are what's kind of on the inside. 1 plus 1 times 2, which gives us 12 plus 2, which is 14, and 14 doesn't equal to 11, so that's not the right answer. So let's come up, let's, let's try a different one. So let's try, let's try 1 and 2 again. Let's switch our 12 and 1, because, you know, you're going to see that's going to give us a different answer. So our outer is going to be 1 times 1. Alright, those are my outers. My inners are tw 2 and 12. So we're going to add that to 12 times 2, or 2 times 12. So you got 1 plus 24. Let's put to 25. So that's that's not it. So let's, let's keep going through these. Making it all rainbow colored. Hopefully by, you know, this might help you see the outers and inners a little bit better. I don't know. But we're still working on, we'll go ahead and rewrite the problem. x squared plus 11x plus 12. So let's keep with our 1 and 2. So let's try 6 and 2. So our outers. It's our outers, right? 1. Times two. What's our innards? What's our innards? Six and two, right? Plus. So now you got two plus twelve, which is fourteen. So we're getting close. Now there's still a little bit of trial and error, but not as much as what we had in the previous presentation. So now let's um, try one and two. Go ahead and try 4 and 3. Well, what's my outer terms? It's on the outside. That's on the outside. So basically, the outer ones, we're taking the ones that are the farthest apart, which in this case is 1 and 3. We want to multiply the farthest apart numbers, and we want to add them to the numbers that are closest together, which is 2 and 4. So now we got 1 times 3, which is 3, 2 times 4, which is 8, we're going to add 3 and 8, and we got 11, so we know this is our factors. So now all we have to do is write them. So we're going to write 1x plus 4 times 2x plus 3. So you're this number, 
it's going to go with this number in your parentheses, right? It's because that's 1x, and that's 4x. That's not 4x, I was just kidding. That's 1x plus 4, and then that's 2x plus 3. Just remember your, it's kind of your x column, right? Or your x squared column. And that's how we use this, uh, you know, your factors of A, factors of B, and we use our inner outer table. And that's, that's another way to approach these problems. Hope this makes some sense to you. If not, drop me a line.